Okay, good morning you wonderful people. I'm, I just turned off the road here at Stanford Lake. I came from Heinitzburg and I got some supplies for the kayak and for breakfast there at the eatery. Now, this place is awesome. So please remember to come here and to get some nice things like a well roasted cup of coffee and there are fresh donuts. I actually had to wait for the jam donuts to come out of the oven. They are so fresh. So as you can see, these things are just beautiful. Yeah, and uh, the water is so smooth again this morning. It's like glass. It's like a mirror. And I'm the only one here, it seems, at this stage. And um, yeah, so welcome. Welcome here. And I hope you will enjoy spending some time on the water with me again. I haven't been on the water for about three weeks. Um, I had to go all the way to Bloemfontein for another fencing competition. Back on the water. Can't wait to catch a couple of fish. Yeah, I know it's winter, but just can't stay away. And there's no reason to not catch fish really, to be honest with you. Even in the winter, you constantly see guys putting big fish um, on, the, on, the, on Facebook and so on, you know. So the big fish do actually, do come out every now and again to surprise you here in the winter. Hope you'll enjoy it. And thank you for everybody that's been commenting. Um, I really appreciate your commenting and asking questions and so on. So I hope to, I, I hope to uh, just whetten your appetite a little bit for bass fishing from a kayak because I just love doing this. So yeah, I'll see you on the water soon. You lean backwards, grab your first rod, and this is going to be my faithful, old faithful um, white jerkbait. That's been proving very effective here in the fall. And I'm going to immediately sneak up to that spot there where I saw the movement and see if I can have some early morning response from a nice big mama. Okay, I've been on the water maybe for an hour now and I still haven't received a single, didn't get a single bite yet. So um, I took some footage underwater so just to show you how clear the water is today. So I do think that is going to offer some kind of challenge here because they can see you coming for a mile, you know. So and um, I did use that that uh, dark, dark green with a red tail fluke. So now I'm going for a more natural color that may, will not stand out too much in the water. So it maybe will appear a little bit more natural. So this is that little grub. I make a bit shorter, you know, because it's usually a little bit longer than that. So I want the striking zone to be a little bit closer to your, to your hook itself. So that's why I always bite off the first little part of it, yeah? And then I cut it a little bit sharper that it can kind of cut through the water a bit. So yeah, always remember not to throw your pieces of lure, rubber, worm, whatever it is you bite off, that you do not throw it into the water because that's definitely not going to be good for the fish. So okay, let's see if this natural grub can make a better effect. I did see some movement here amongst the lilies, amongst the yeah, amongst the grass here. So let's see if they starting to move about. Okay, so I just maybe discovered the reason why there's usually fish under this overhanging tree here. Yeah. It's because it was full of a bird called a hadida. And they keep, you know, defecating in the water underneath. You see there's the last one sort of flying away now. Um, so maybe that's the reason. I don't know if the fish would eat their droppings. But that's definitely what they're doing there. They're sitting there and... A lot of droppings falling in the water there so maybe that attracts a smaller fish and then the bass goes for that i don't know but let's go see if i can catch one of those fish hopefully there are some underneath the tree there where the where the hadidas were sitting just now
Yes, we've got our first fish. At last, we've got a fish, people. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Yes, like that took ages. It's like four o'clock in the afternoon. And the first fish is only caught now. Yeah, can you believe it? Nice solid fish, were. Damn. Cut me there, but. Okay, at last. We caught one. What's the time? Let's see. Let's see what the time is. 10 minutes before 4 and we caught our first fish. Can you believe it at last? Well, I'm just glad we actually caught one. Yes, like... I think I scared it off. Beauty at last. Janna. <laughs> Few and in between. My second fish for the day. Oh, his body temperature is actually quite warm, so maybe water is getting warmer after the day sun, and now they're getting active. There he goes. A little bit of motivation. Yeah, that's on this funny golden, yellow golden fluke. Such a small fish and got off anyway. Okay, seems like there's a couple of them hanging out here in this area. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh, stop it. Okay, beautiful fish number three. But definitely the water temperature is definitely warmer. I don't know if it's here in the middle of the dam. It's warmer because I felt it earlier today and it was really cold. So yeah, I don't know. Could it be that the water in the middle of the dam is a bit warmer and that's where the fish are a bit more active? Okay. I think so. Yeah, and it came off. It just didn't feel like it was hooked very strongly. Okay, well, that's good. This is the, that was the fourth fish. Got three, and I lost this one right here next to the boat. I think it should be on camera at least. So yeah, it does seem like this general area here, that's where they tend to hang out, it seems like. My time is almost up, I need to go. I've got a function tonight. Very important function to be to do to be at so I need to be home at about seven o'clock so I've got another about 40 minutes left near 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 what am I talking about near I've got about 30 minutes left 30 minutes left and then I must actually almost I must be loading the boat in 30 minutes so trolling seems to be the best way of hooking something up now because you can let a lure be like 30 40 meters from you Obviously, you're not disturbing the fish now with all this the clear visibility in the water. What a sad, sad thing to see. This tree that is so beautifully green during the summer months is now almost totally 
bear standing here. It's actually amazing how quickly it left it. It lost its leaves. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hope this one's so good. He's not going to come off. So. Small, very small. Yes, like, it's actually amazing that the water is quite warm. I didn't expect that. Something again struck my line. Probably the um, trout. I've seen the trout do that before, you know, like your lure will be out there and your line is lying here. And it's like something is striking your line. Once again guys, thank you for joining me, catching fish with me, or spending time in the kayak with me. <coughs> At least I could show you some underwater footage today to show you how clear the water is. So yeah, that was quite... So yeah, until next time, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have subscribed. Please leave a comment, even if it's criticism or something. It's nice to have some interaction with people. May you have a great week. May you be excited about your life. May you do your best and everything. Don't look up or down at anybody else. Respect all the people around you and love people as much as you possibly can. With that, yeah, I'll see you next time. Hopefully you'll join me again and hopefully there will be a little bit more action next time.